Welcome back, Screen Fiend fans. Like I said, we will be having memberships over here now. Uh, we're getting ready to have that set up where you guys can join the tiers of the memberships. We're getting all that set up in a row. So we're, we're going to start doing giveaways. We're going to have a whole lot of stuff uh, coming up down the road. So stay tuned. Make sure you don't, um, you know, not pay attention to the main VIP people. You're going to be involved in all the raffles, everything. Now, everyone else will be involved in different variations, playing video games, whatever. You know, all of that is on the table. Now, why we are here. Bullet Train. Now, Bullet Train is shot in Japanese style. Japanese style is very fast. Everything is fast paced. It's progressive thinking. So, the, the wheel is always turning. In other words, the comedy is fast, everything comes at a different speed. So people might feel it's a little offsetting and a little off and they can't keep up. And they feel like the movie is rushed. The movie isn't rushed, it's just at the tone it needs to be. It's just fast. So some people can't grasp it. And the reason why is because in the United States they have a level of what the speed of anything should be due to epilepsy and all these different things. When you travel around the world, you realize that everyone else is not on the same speed level. In Japan, everything is like really fast. It's like if you played Halo, right? And you know how they have the speed setting of the game? You could turn it all the way up to 100. The game comes in at like 50%. <laughs> You're on 50% level. All those games. Now, if you turn that speed up, to 100 percent is gonna move super fast but pretty soon your brain adjusts to the speed so it's used to playing like that so it's not even fast no more you're able to adjust and you're playing the game like that and we play on that level and when you play other people internationally over the seas the game moves a lot faster and your brain adjusts to the speeds and it slows things down it's just like driving in the car. You're driving 80 miles an hour. You don't feel like you're going 80 miles an hour. But everything in the car, including you, is traveling 80 miles an hour. You just can't feel it. I'm in a race with a train. Come on, baby. Woo! Let's go. Fast and the furious, baby. I travel life quarter mile a time. Oh yeah, was that the cops next to me? I got some for you, copper. I got some for you, copper. Yep, that's the cops. <laughs> and he made a U-turn, but I got some for you, copper. It's gone. I'm finna dip and get out of town. Get out of town, get out of town, get out of town, and get out your town. Going north to Alaska, Pittsburgh, PA. Get out of town, get out of town. I'm getting out your town. <laughs> now, let's see you come grab me. Yeah, I'm out your district, <laughs> out your jurisdiction. Better luck next time, sucker. You almost had me, too. Now, that's a bullet train. <laughs> now, back to what we were doing. What the? Oh, no. So to say, that's the train. <laughs> now, back to the what we were talking about, the movie. Now, the movie starts off as Brad Pitt being a retired hitman. He's retired from the game. He's coming back in. He had a bunch of mishaps and he felt it was bad luck <laughs> a guy tried to commit suicide fell on his car all these crazy things happen right he looked at it as a string of bad luck not realizing that it wasn't bad luck. 
wasn't bad luck at all. What it was, was just life. And he actually drove that man to the hospital and saved his life. And then he happened to be at the one place and then everybody died at the wedding and everyone thought it was him that did it. And the groom who was ready to marry this beautiful wife was sent information that it was him or he was the guy he recognized at the wedding. He was there to take out somebody else but recognized him at the wedding. All he had to do was get off the train with the case which he almost accomplished. There's about five, six hitmen on this train. Now one of these assassins, the main assassin, the villain, he wants these two assassins to bring his son back to him on the train. But here's the kicker. He don't really want his son back. <laughs> he wanted that son of a bitch killed because he caused the damn accident because of his drug problem that caused his wife to get killed. That was his mother that got killed. So he wanted that son of a bitch to die. <laughs> then on top of all of it, on top of everything, what's good, the king? To top it all off, to make it more interesting and more crazy at the same time, you have um, 30 to 40 different variations of symbols that relate to things back in like anime so like certain aspects of it and the two hitmen the one guy who's hooked on Thomas the Train and he's comparing everybody who's Thomas the Train and what train they are based on their personality but he's never wrong he's never been wrong so he was able to pick, pick out who was the diesel of the train and that was the one that that was the one who was messing him up and he's like I got a good energy and a good vibe about everybody and I could tell who's messing with us and who's not messing with us and he's like that's not the guy he's not the guy we need to worry about Brad Pitt, Pitt don't want to carry a gun he don't want to kill nobody he's just supposed to be an easy job get the suitcase and then get out that was the job this one girl comes in, basically kidnaps a guy, makes pushes a guy's kid off a building to put him in ICU just so he can get in the hospital so that she could trap the son there. Then the son gets shot, and then he's bleeding but not dead, and thrown into a room, and then his son's about to get killed. And because of that the son was about to get killed the father who was an assassin himself already had his grandson protected he knew nobody was going to hurt his grandson after that and he had a battle before with the main protagonist in the game who winded up being Michael Shannon and you know he's a very serious act, uh, actor so they had to finish their duel that they had back in the day and he has set this whole thing up well all these assassins I'm passing the police station all these assassins were all on the same team like they were all set up to be there because they all played a part and the death of his wife. So he was bringing them all there so they can kill each other. And whoever was left was gonna get killed anyway. The two guys who did the job or whatever did this massacre job, they were gonna get killed anyway because they played a part into the death of his wife and everything else. So that's why they were gonna get it. Everybody who was there was going to die they all played a part so he put them all there and set this whole thing in motion so that they could all kill each other and whoever was left at the end he was going to kill them 
at the end of the stop. Nobody was getting the money. <laughs> the money was just the bait to get everybody on that train. But Brad Pitt was not the guy he thought. He wanted to kill the other guy. Brad Pitt took his place because the guy got sick and the guy ended up being a cameo by Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds was the cameo for the character, which was funny too that it ended up being Ryan Reynolds. I thought that was hilarious. So Ryan Reynolds was the guy. And he's like, no, Brad Pitt's like, no, I'm not that guy. I'm not that character. I'm the wrong guy. You got the wrong individual. I'm here taking, I'm filling in for him. He's not here. I'm not that guy. <laughs> so you trying to kill everybody and the main guy you want to kill who actually had your wife killed? That's not me. I'm, I'm filling in for him. He's sick. He couldn't do the job. So now I took the job. I came in and took the job. So Brad Pitt is not even the guy he wants to kill. So now he's just pissed off altogether. Now he's ready to kill him anyway just because all of this was for not now. So they're on this bullet train, man, and it's going crazy over in Japan. And the famous character that was there, and he got a crazy snake that's super poisonous. It'll kill you in 30 seconds. And they had the antidote on the train at the same time. It was nuts. Completely nuts. Yeah, the snake was loose and it was so deadly that anybody who get that poison is dead within 30 seconds. But she not only had the poison like with her, she had everything else with her too. She had a lot with her. That's the girl that played Domino in Deadpool. She was in there. She played that role. She got the fight Brad Pitt. It's a pretty interesting fight. And they got down with the snake poison. And then he took the antidote from her and gave it to himself. After she dropped the needle right in his hand. <laughs> then he took it out of his hand and stabbed her in the throat with it and hit her with the full injection. And they sat there and waited, like, who's going to grab the poison, the antidote first? Like, he was waiting on her to make a move. Sure enough, she was, like, playing it cool, and she went for that antidote. <laughs> and as soon as she went for that antidote, it was pop! He gave it to himself. That anti <laughs> So she was out. She killed, basically killed herself. It was crazy. I think it was filmed in Japan. A lot of people couldn't follow it. My rating of the movie is three stars out of four. I like the fast paced action. I like it was in Japan style. You know, it's uh, my type of film. Very fast paced action. A lot of people hate on it because they don't understand those kind of movies. 
if you watch anime and everything of that nature, then you'll be all over this. Me, I'm putting the air in the tires in case people are like, what the hell are you doing, Sino, at like 3.30 in the morning. The Sino time. Normally, now, I'll be in the gym. I ain't going to the gym tonight. I'm going to go probably tomorrow in the morning, but I ain't going tonight. I'm going to get some rest. But I've been in the gym every day. So I might have to whoop him his ass. That's how we roll. Hold it there. I like that Brad Pitt are taking these roles. See, when you produce your own films, you can do stuff like this. You can produce your own films. You can act in them, direct them, move how you want to move accordingly. Brad Pitt don't need the money. People are like, this movie ain't doing what everybody else so what this movie is doing great international it was number one for two weeks in the movie this they really had nothing to put in place of it. so no one was really concerned about it ain't gonna make any money like, who's saying that? I mean, really? You ain't being real with yourself if you believe that. That movie can't do anything but make money. How could it lose? You got Brad Pitt in there. It's an international movie about a bullet train traveling in Japan. How you gonna lose money? Uh oh, we see something for Gummy. Gummy, look. Some you can't go. It's closed. It's a playground. <laughs> you can't go there. <laughs> you got to register. <laughs> register, Gummy. Register. <laughs> Make sure you register, Gummy. <laughs> That's right. G U M L Y Gummy. like train to Busan and all these or well, all the zombies are on the train and all that this is Japanese format 
it's very fast everything in their country is fast that's why if you watch a japanese movie you watch uh you know what's the movie everybody likes squid game and all that everything normally moves pretty fast like they might have dramas that move a little slow but other than that it moves pretty fast moves like a bullet train the action and comedy was fast paced it was good very well paced um, enjoyed the film a lot so we will be doing the memberships over here so people who want to sign up and we're going to be start giving away free movies free everything it's going to be a lot of free stuff given out to the to those who sign up for the vip so stuff like that that's what we're going to do and then they have interactive we might watch movies together and chill out you know so once again homie it's all good Boom, boom, boom. When I enter the room, everybody goes boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling pretty, um, you know, rejuvenated and energized and all of those things in one <laughs> but i'm gonna let the phone charge i just got back in the crib we all good and that is that love peace and hair grease you're new subscribe to the page everybody else i'll hit you up later